Hey guys, um, I just went to Apple today, and I got a few things for my iPod, and I figured I'd review them, because I might as well. I got only two things, it was 50 bucks though, like 45 or something, 46. I got this anti-glare film set for my new iPod, how it, because I told you about the problem I had, I had to get a new one. I had the Invisishield on my previous one, and it said it was removable, but when I removed it, it was just like the most disgusting thing you could ever look at. So, I had to get a new one. I'm probably going to write Invisishield because I didn't get a warranty in mine. They, they expect you, if you don't buy it from them, to mail in your freaking receipt. It's ridiculous. And they're like 25 bucks, but this was 14. Um, I'm going to test it out. And then I got a case. Got the contour black flip case for the I put that second generation obviously. Hi. Um so yeah. I'm going to put the shield I'm gonna put the film on and then I'll come I'll come back to the video because I don't really think you wanna watch me apply this for the next ten minutes. Uh, I'll be right back then. Alright, so I'm back guys. I have the screen protector applied and I have the case put on. I'm going to start off the review with the screen protector. Um, I tested this outside after I put it on uh, to see how much it removed from the glare. And it does help some. It does not remove all of it, but I don't think that's ever going to be possible with a screen. Um, it, but like I said, it does remove some of the glare. It feels good. It has a different texture, but it still mo you, your finger still glides across it nice and smooth. All the icons are just as sensitive when I'm locking it or anything. Everything, yeah, this runs fine. Um, it does not come with a backing. It only comes with two fronts, which I find kind of disappointing. <coughs> and as I say that they're removable and reappliable, I wish I could have taken the time for the second one to be a backing. But that's okay, as that's what I have a case for. Um, now, if I was going to give this a review out of 20, I'm going to say 17. It's good. Wish they had a backing. Um, smudges show up a little bit. If you just wipe them with your shirt, they go away. And then that's about it. 17 out of 10, pretty good. Or 17 out of 20. Now, for this, the contour foot case, switching over, and then have a good transition there. Um, the main selling feature or selling point of this device is the fact that it flips open on the bottom for the dock. So if you just take these two little corners and just lift them up, you can take it up off like that. Um, I guess that's neat and all, rather than taking the whole case off. But uh, the constant rubbing and scratching, possibly of putting this over the edges, could cause it to scratch. I could be wrong. But that's what I think. Um, there's a little rubber thing right here for the bendiness. And then the rocker control, the area is cut out just fine. So there's no overlaying or out overlapping of the uh, buttons. Don't worry about that. The sleep button has a cover over it. And you just push it and it works just like normal. Or you can take it off just like this. And put it back on if you so wish to. Uh, the only problem I have with this case, hold on, um, is that in this corner right here, it is very wiggly. This side is strong and it fits tight, but this side is not. It's very loose and wobbly. Uh, for a $30 case, I would have expected it to fit perfect. Um, it could have just been my case, maybe, or I might have bended it when I put it on incorrectly. But overall, I'm going to give it like a 15 out of 20. Uh... I expected it to fit tighter. It's not a big deal that this wiggles, but it does. It just doesn't feel normal, which is the reason why I don't like it. Uh, everything else, though, works good. Looks good. It's nice and shiny. 30 bucks, like I said. Mm. It's a hard plastic. It's not going to scratch, really. Dropping it is okay. Like a little drop like that. Do not. I would not recommend dropping it from your pocket with any case. Simply because no matter how strong this material is, for something this tiny, the internal parts are going to get shaken around, and that's going to that's what's going to cause the iPod to break. 
uh, you'd have to have something like really thick to like protect it. So, but like I said, it's good for casual drops. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Just to recap, I gave the screen a 17 out of 20, and the backing a 15 out of 20. Both pretty good. The screen was about on average 15 bucks, and the backing is uh, 30 dollars. With tax, I paid about 47 or something. <coughs> so, if you need something like this, just get like a case in the screen. I recommend getting this. The contour foot case is not for the iPad Touch first generation, as far as I know. I didn't see any in Apple, only second generation ones. And the anti glare glare shield is only for second generations, but they just have a crystal shield for the iPod Touch first generation. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, it really helps me. And um check these out. Thanks. Bye.